My name is Jordan Kreimeyer, and I'm here to talk to you about using an SD card with the Flexa 402. In this video, I will show you how to save, load, import, and export configuration files between the 402 unit and the SD card. To insert the SD card in the unit, first open the door, and then insert it correctly right here. To access the SD card menu, we will start at the home screen. Click the menu in the top right, then Others, and then Save slash Load. The first option we have is to load an individual configuration file. You need to first select an item and then a file name. Then you can choose to execute. Since I'm in the converter menu, it should return to home after finishing. If I clicked on a type of sensor, then it will ask for the target sensor. This is where I would input the correct target sensor and then choose to execute. The next option in our menu is Load Configuration. This will load the configuration data of all the sensors that are connected to the 402. So on this screen, after it loads, you will choose the correct file and then choose to execute it. Our next option in the menu is Save Configuration. This will save the current configuration set that of the Flexa 402 and all its connected sensors. So here we will choose the file that we would like to save and then execute. Since there is already a file with the same name, we will choose to overwrite it. If I chose new name, then I could enter what I wanted to name the configuration, then click this button, and then execute a new configuration to save. The next option in our menu is delete individual configuration file. For this, you will go into the correct item, and then choose the file that you would like to delete then execute. We also have the option to delete an entire configuration. Here we would choose to delete the entire configuration set under the name T. Whenever we deleted the individual configuration file, it still remained in the set file. We go back to our main menu here. Our next option is to export all configuration. You will select new name if you want to create a new folder, or you can select an existing folder, and then you execute. In this case, we are overwriting. If exporting were to fail, it's because the SD card does not have enough space or it is not inserted or formatted correctly. Our next option in this menu is to import configuration. This will allow us to import set configuration data from the SD card to the Flexa 402. For this, we would select the folder that we want to import and then execute it. We are overwriting. After that has finished, I will show you the last couple of options that we have in this menu. We can export all logbook, which exports the logbook data files to the SD card. After exporting, you can see the data files 
by using FieldMate, a PC-based configuration tool. In order to do this, you will enter the file name and then click Execute. Doing this will export the logbook data with the extension .l00, and it takes approximately 20 to 30 seconds. The last thing that I want to show you in this menu is that you can update the software. In order to do this, you need to use a file for software upgrade provided by Yokogawa with the file extension .f42. You put it in a folder of your choice located on the SD card. Then insert the SD card. Then you would choose to update the software here. Then you select the correct file and you execute it. The software upgrade will start. The screen backlight will flash slowly with the message loading on the screen and it take approximately 20 to 30 minutes. Then the Flexa 402 will reboot automatically. Do not power down or pull out the SD card. Now I'm going to show you an example of exporting a full configuration and then importing it into another device. From the home screen, you select Menu, then Others, then Save slash Load. We're going to scroll down to Export All Configuration. And then select this box that says New Name so that we can create a new folder since we don't have an existing one. After typing in the file name, then we will select Enter and then Execute. After the configuration has successfully exported, you will see a file with the name that you typed in right here followed by a slash. We are going to remove the SD card and put it into another device to show you how to import the new configuration into a different device. We are now looking at the second Flexa 402 device. So I have inserted the SD card behind this panel. We will click on Menu, Others, Save Load, scroll down until we see Import Configuration with the SD card symbol. And then we will click on the folder test, which is the file that we exported from the other device. And then we will click on the configuration that we want and execute it. The file has successfully been imported into the new device whenever it returns to the previous screen. So now these sensors will be set up.